Welcome back to Charlotte Roval Showdown live from Charlotte Motor Speedway. Here's a live look down at the Roval. It's the calm before the storm, Nick. That's right, Stro. We've talked about the drivers and where they sit in the playoff standings and all that, mm -hmm. but what about the track that yeah. they have to contend with? Let's give you a look at the the Roval. It's 2.28 miles. It has 17 turns, chicanes on the front and back stretches, and actually a 35-foot elevation change. Now, since the first run in 2018, it's quickly become known as one of the most challenging tracks in the sport with no other course like it. So we wanted to know a little bit more about how these drivers, these teams set up for this race, for this track, and what it feels like to be in the car. So I took yeah. a trip with track vice president Greg Walter. <laughs> All right, you ready for this? Yes, sir. Okay, Greg, you're a good track designer and promoter. Are you a good Roval driver? No, first time out. First time I've ever <laughs> done this, so uh, don't be nervous at all. Well, so. I have a map in case you need directions. <laughs> You guys put these drivers in a position immediately, both from the start finish and the pit road, to take this sharp left hand turn in turn one. It is. And so once you cross this yellow line, it is on like Donkey Kong. They can get the speed real quick, just like this. Mm, there you go. Now, as they go through this, this is really the meat of the road course. What are they trying to accomplish speed-wise and in terms of just staying on track and staying in position? Well, of course, obviously, for the driver trying to get as, as much gain in position and then set up for the next turn. With this being such a technical course, you know, the driver's got to think two, three turns ahead in terms of maximizing what they do. Remember, in a road course, you know, uh, braking zones equal passing zones. How do these teams set up the cars to be half road and half oval? That's got to be really challenging. Well, that was one of the objections early on for us was that the teams, the amount they would have to invest in setting these cars up properly to be able to handle the, the physics and dynamics that our, the car has to go through when it goes through this course. And now we approach the backstretch chicane. You're probably topping out your speed here, and then you've got to go down to first gear these drivers through this thing. Hold on. Nicely done. <laughs> I think I lied about this being my first time. <laughs> yeah, you've done this before. Now, this front stretch chicane was put in because Marcus wanted a place where, you know, bottom of the ninth, bases loaded, two outs. Yep. And it was that last ditch effort. And you saw that, of course, right away. The, right, right away with the first Roval with Truex and Jimmy Johnson. So you're going to hit this apex here, clip this one. Out. And then pick up speed right as you come yeah, out of it for start finish. Yep. Beautiful. Well, how much fun was it to be tasked with helping set all of this up? Something totally different in NASCAR, totally different for Charlotte Motor Speedway, but you're breaking a little bit of tradition to do it. It was incredibly exciting to do so, to be part of a team that, that brought all this to life. I mean, this was a, um, a vision that our CEO had in terms of, you know, we want to do something different. And we have, we have this culture of being constructively discontent. How do we go from good to great or great to awesome? The Robo was just that manifestation of that, of doing something different in racing. And there was, there was no room for error. We needed to be sure that we got it right the first time because the naysayers, if we didn't get it right, the naysayers would say, we should never make those kind of changes. This was a bad idea. So there was a lot of stress and, and the pressure we put on ourselves that this had to be perfect the first time out. Have you perfected it yet? I don't know about perfected it. You know, you get, uh, I haven't made you grab the handle yet, so i not. The challenges that the Roval presents to a team are probably like unlike anything else they experience because you have this blended oval road course, i.e. the Roval. There's the greatest drivers in the world, and the Roval presents the challenges, I think, that brings out their best. It's a great course. Uh, thank you for driving it for us. I oh, enjoyed it. Are there any open spots Saturday or Sunday you might want to jump in a car? Hey, if there is one, I'll, I'll give, give you the keys and let you give a shot. Uh, well, yeah, I might need to take it for a test drive <laughs> first. You got this thing down. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. All right, Nick, you actually text me after you did that ride along and you were like, this is like the most fun I've ever had. And I was like so happy that that was your experience. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I had a blast <laughs> and I'm taking them up on that offer to 
put the keys in the ignition right. and take one for a spin myself. You can see the entire I mean, we took like 10 laps. You can yeah. see all of it on WCNC.com and the WCNC Charlotte YouTube page.